Hey YouTube, what's up? It's iPod Touch for Life 165 here. And in this video, I just got a few updates, um, some really crucial updates that I need to inform you guys about. Uh, it's happening on with Apple and the iPod Touch and iPhone. Now, first and foremost, is that as a lot of you may know, Apple released the newest 3.1.3 firmware two days ago. Now, this 3.1.3 firmware um, is something to beware for some of you and something that is fine for some of you. Now, you guys would have known this because when the next time you uh, loaded up iTunes and connected to your iPod after the firmware was uh, released, iTunes would have asked you whether you wanted to update your iPod Touch or iPhone firmware to the newest 3.1.3. Now, to my more experienced users and the ones that are smarter and have been uh, playing with their iPod Touches and iPhones for a while, they would know that uh, you should never update to a new firmware unless a confirmed jailbreak is out. So, that leaves me with a lot of messages saying, help, Black Rain isn't working anymore, or Snow Breeze isn't doing this, or Red Snow, because you guys updated to the newest 3.1.3 firmware, and you guys weren't uh, s uh, guaranteed a jailbreak. So, that's why Apple has stopped signing the 3.1.2 firmware, so now it is impossible to revert back to it, meaning if you want to go from 3.1.3 back to 3.1.2, uh, so you can have your jailbreak uh, on 3.1.2. It is not possible anymore. However, there has been a loophole found um, in Red Snow that allows the iPod Touch first generation and iPod Touch second generation non-MC model and the iPhone and the iPhone 3G to be jailbroken using Red Snow. Um, using a little loophole there, I plan to make a video on this next. So again, um, even if the iPod Touch 1st Gen, iPod Touch 2nd Gen non-MC, iPhone and iPhone 3G are on 3.1.3, they can still be jailbroken. So it really isn't a problem for owners of those devices. However, with people that have the iPod Touch 3rd Generation, iPod Touch 2nd Generation uh, MC model, and iPhone 3GS new boot ROM, then it is a problem because you cannot jailbreak nor restore back. So unfortunately for you guys, you have no jailbreak uh, at the moment because uh, there is no jailbreak that is compatible with your device. So really sorry to you guys that updated. Um, all I can say is if you're still on 3.1.2 and you're on one of these devices, uh, be careful. Don't do anything stupid to make you uh, have to restore because if you have to restore, you'll have to uh, restore to 3.1.3 and there's no jailbreak for the devices that I named. All right. So like I said, 3.1.3 uh, jailbreak is available for the following devices uh, using Red Snow, iPod Touch 1st Gen, iPod Touch 2nd Gen non-MC, iPhone, and iPhone 3G. Now, with another software called Snow Breeze, which has been in development for a while, um, the devices supported on 3.1.3 are iPod Touch 1st Gen, iPod Touch 2nd Gen non-MC, iPhone, iPhone 3G, and the iPhone 3GS older boot ROM. So, um, those four devices that work with Red Snow plus the iPhone 3GS um, with the older boot ROM, meaning any iPhone 3GS bought before uh, October 14th, I believe, all right? So those devices can be jailbroken on 3.1.3. So again, not a big problem for them if they updated. I am on 3.1.3 here. I just restored to it. We go to settings, general, about, you see that I'm on 3.1.3 right there because I plan to make the jailbreak video for 3.1.3 uh, right after this one, alright? So, that pretty much leaves the jailbreak situation um, attended to. Next is Appulo being shut down. Now, the majority of you um, will know what Appulo and Installis are. They were a company, owned by one company, that uh, provided cracked applications, or provided links to cracked applications, um, so you can get your App Store apps for free. So long story short, there's been a large controversy over the uh, years, the last year and a half that has been open, and they've been shut down, reopened, shut down, reopened, and they've finally been come to a close. Uh, they said to end the site and the company today. There's no more Appulo, no more Installus. But there are many, many other ways to get cracked apps and many other sources, so this is not necessarily a bad thing. I actually, I actually um, stopped using Appulo completely like a year ago, uh, and I was using other stuff, and then later I just completely stopped cracked applications because I don't like them that much. Anyways, um, for those of you that do uh, engage in cracked applications and the downloading and installing of them, 
Not a big problem for you. There's many, many other ways to install them. I plan to do a video on that soon as well, uh, just for the benefit of you guys. So, yes, so install this and Appula has been shut down. Uh, not a big problem, though. So, that's pretty much it for this video, guys. Make sure to follow me on Twitter for all the news updates. See, if you guys were following me on Twitter, you would know not to update to 3.1.3, but now it's too late for those of you on the uh, newer devices. Uh, but if you were following me on Twitter, you'd know that in advance, so make sure to go follow me on Twitter. Uh, great place to get my newest updates, plus uh, just chat with me generally. Then also Facebook, I'll put that in the description as well. Facebook is a great place for help. I post some stuff there on updates, and uh, mostly it's just for new videos and a lot of help. See, when you guys have help questions, you post it on my wall, and then I can comment on them, and any other fans can comment on them. So you get the most help from my Facebook page. So make sure to uh, check it out there and become a fan. And uh, make sure to subscribe to my other channel. I'm posting videos there as well on tech stuff, uh, mostly on PC stuff. Um, some PSP, although it's too minimal. But mostly PC stuff. You guys will like that. Great stuff there. All right. So I want to thank you guys for watching. Make sure to rate, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys later.